Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will solve problem 11.12 that is based on response surface methodology. I will solve this problem in mini tab. The objective is to maximize the conversion over first response variable represented by y1 and, and optimize the activity between 55 and 60. We have three variable or parameter in this study, namely time in minutes, temperature in centigrade and the catalyst percentage. We have total data set of 20 observation. You can check this problem in the book. I am following 8th edition. However, this problem is available both 8th and 9th editions. So first of all, we have to make a design. Go to stat, DOE, response surface, create a response surface. We have three factors. Let's go to the design. In the design, we have a basically 20 runs of each factor. However, there are blocks, one block, two block, three block. In the, in the problem that is provided to us in the book, there are uh, no blocks. So anyhow, we'll click OK. Then go to the factors, name them, temperature, time, catalyst. Minus one means low level and plus one means high levels. Click OK. Then go to the option. Please uncheck the randomized run. Click OK. One thing more in the design that Please focus on this alpha value 1.682. Using this one, using this value, you will get the axial points. Click OK and you will get the design. After that, in order to view only data, click on this data only tab. Right here, the names of your response variable. One of the name is conversion and the second one was, uh, let me check, it's activity. Now you will have to input the data. So. The data you will just enter the data simply as you enter in the Excel 7451. So right here 74 press down arrow key and then 74 and then 51. So I will input the whole data to save the time. So here is the data. Now I will click on stat DOE for the analysis and then response surface analyze response surface design. So then select your response variable by double click on it, go to the graph and then four in one, please select this must and then uh, normal, effect plot is normal is good, okay. Then click okay, nothing else you will have to do so far. Um, go to the results and then click on expanded tables because it will give you the percentage contribution of each factor as well as the interaction. So far it's okay, it's more than enough, click okay. And now in order to view only the results, click on this one. So the model summary is 91.99. It means that 91.99% variation in the conversion has been explained by temperature, time and catalyst. How we can report it? So the report will be R scale depicts that model explained 91.99% variation in the conversion and it is explained by the model. Further, R square adjusted depicts that 84.79, this one value, variation in the conversion is ex ex explained by only significant terms of the model. Now, when we come down, there is analysis of variance or ANOVA table. So this analysis of various table tells us that which of the terms are found to be significant. So you can see it here that the P value associated with time, catalyst, uh, as well as uh, time into time, that quadratic term of the time and the catalyst, they are found to be significant because the associated P value is less than 0.05. Further, their percentage contributions are also available to us that 18.92% variation has been explained by catalyst only, its main effect. So in this way, we can read the ANOVA table. Further, there is one the, another term that is most important, lack of fit. It is the p-value associated is greater than 0.05 and a lack of fit is found to be insignificant. What is mean by this? It means that the model has fitted the data in a good way and the, the prediction that the model will make, they are acceptable with a very minimal error. Now, how you will interpret the ANOVA results? ANOVA results are analyzed at a significance level of alpha is equal to 0.05. If the obtained p-value is less than alpha is equal to 0.05, the terms are found to be significant. Else insignificant, actually we will talk about the linear terms. The catalyst is found to be most significant. The F distribution, one degree of freedom for the numerator, 10 degree of freedom for the error. Let me tell you this one, that one degree of freedom is with the catalyst. And if we come downward, 
error has the 10 degrees of freedom. So this way, then we have written 23.63. This is the obtained F distribution value. So you can see it here, it's 23.63. Now, P is equal to 0 0.001. This is the P value associated with the catalyst. You can see it here. And then followed by time. Similarly, you will pick all these values whereas the temperature is found to be insignificant. How we have made this descending order based upon this percentage contribution? First of all, catalyst, then time, then temperature. After that, we will talk about the scare terms. The scare term of the catalyst found to be most uh, significant. Again, you will have to put, uh, put all, uh, pick all these values in the similar fashion, followed by time and the temperature is found to be insignificant. The, the two-way interaction in terms of temperature into the catalyst is found to be most significant with p-value of 0 0.000. Let's check in the results. Temperature into the catalyst, 37.26% contribution with a p-value of 0 0.000 and f-value 46.53. That's the most significant one followed by interaction of time to catalyst and then the interaction of temperature and the time is found to be insignificant. After that, you will have to write about the model lack of fit. So the model lack of fit is greater than significance level. That is 0 0.869. It is greater than 0 0.05, which shows the lack of fit of the model is found to be insignificant. It depicts goodness of it. It means that the proposed model is fitting the experimental data in a very good way. Further, there is only one observation. You can see it here, the 20th observation, the fits and diagnostic for unusual observation. This is basically an outlier and we will have to take a decision regarding this. So what's a decision? I have taken only one observation, 20th, has the problem of unusual observation, large residual. The 20th observation is the center point whose experimental value is quite high in comparison to other five center points. Therefore, this observation disturbs the process stability and inherent variability. It is therefore recommended to eliminate or delete 20th observation and repeat the analysis for getting better curve fitting and the overall results. Now we will discuss the graph of the residuals. This graph number one and number three depicts that the data is following somehow the normal distribution. The residuals are normally distributed. Graph number two is explaining that the number, the variance is found to be almost equal. The number of points above this center dotted line are equal to the number of points below this dotted line. So we can see the variance is equal. Further, this versus order is depicting that there is no specific pattern is found in the data. So the data has no problem of multicollinearity and the data is independent of each other. Now, the next step is model improvement. What is meant by this? We have to eliminate all insignificant terms from the model, just like temperature, the scare term of the temperature, as well as those two interaction terms that are found to be insignificant. Again, for the model, sorry, stat, DOE, response surface, analyze response surface design, then go to the terms. In the term, eliminate all those terms that are found to be insignificant. So you can see it here that um, the time is found to be insignificant. So I'm eliminating the main effect of time, then uh, A into A, it's the scare term of the time, then compression to time, A, B, I'm eliminating all these three terms, then click and then click OK. So we got an improved model, click here, output only to view only this. So again, now it's explaining that 88.95% variation in the conversion has been explained by these three terms but they are only significant one and this is the regression equation basically a mathematical model that is based on the coded units if we do not use any coded unit instead of that we use the actual value of the level then we can say it's the mathematical equation so this is the equation you can copy it and paste in the word document for your projects now the proposed model is valid due to insignificance of the fit and will predict the conversion accurately Further, the various inflation factor values are quite good, which depicts that there is no multicollinearity exists between the variables in the analysis. How you will get the VIF value? 
here from this first table you can see the all vif values are 1 or 1.01 that's are awesome therefore based upon the insignificant lack of fit good vif and high r scale values the proposed model is found to be best for the prediction that's the part one of this video please watch the part two as well as that is based upon my second response variable and that is the activity then in the end of the video in the second part i will discuss how i have multi, uh, how i have performed the multiple optimization of both the responses simultaneously thanks a lot for watching the video bye